drivers over is often a necessary part of promoting public road safety. But can a city or region be over ticketed by those sworn to protect them? Our investigative team started pulling numbers for East Texas traffic stops and what they uncovered was a glaring disparity. Our investigative reporter Julia Janae shows just how far ahead one East Texas city is when it comes to handing out tickets. In the KLTV 7 investigation, cash register justice. Why is it that this city charges so much or is bringing in so much? It's a question we wanted an answer to after our investigation led us to the city that generates the most revenue in East Texas for traffic fines and court costs, Tyler, Texas. It's the municipal court that collects those fines for traffic offenses, parking violations, and Class C misdemeanors like simple assault and thefts. Tyler's court had 122,000 pending cases last year, according to the Texas Office of Court Administration. That number of cases is double and triple the number of cases in other comparable cities. We looked at Waco, College Station, Denton, and Wichita Falls. All of those, including Tyler, have a population of between 100 and 130,000 people. Those other cities bring in about 3 million to 5 million in ticket revenue every year, with a portion of that going to the state. And then there's Tyler. Do you know how much it is before the state gets their portion? Approximately 9 million. 9 million 434,000 from citation revenue in 2015. That's approximately 9 million annually compared to these other cities that don't even make the 5 million mark. But does that mean there are just more bad drivers here? The purpose of municipal court and the collection and the paying of the tickets is not to raise and generate revenue for the city. Attorney Valida Waits used to sit on the municipal court bench as an alternate judge in the 80s and 90s, handling Tyler traffic ticket cases, and she has a different label for what's happening. So that's, what I'm, that's why I'm calling it cash registered justice, because it looks as though, especially for those who have tickets, it's more of using that as a means to generate revenue. And that's not what a court is supposed to do. So I really don't know if it really curbs the negligence. But Tyler police say safety plus order is their only goal. We receive complaints every single day from citizens saying I am sick and tired of people running red lights. They almost hit me. They could have killed my family. They're speeding up and down my road. They're running the stop signs. So we're out there looking for those violations. And as far as the hike in revenue compared to other cities, we asked court administrator Nicole Johnson to explain. Is there a quota that the court has to meet? No, there is no quota. It could be that Tyler, during the daytime, our population is a, hot lot, a lot higher than a Longview or a College Station. Um, so there's different things that take into play when you're looking at the number of citations filed. Johnson says they're always looking at how their city compares and how they can improve practices. She also says another cost driving factor, unresolved tickets that residents are still paying on. Well, of course, we're still dealing with tickets back from 1988, 1999. They're not going to go away. We, I mean, they're still going to forever be pending tickets. Nine million dollars is a lot of money. And most of it, from my perspective and in my opinion and from what I have known, on the backs of those who could least afford it. That's the problem for me. Now the Tyler Police Department says there are 15 officers assigned to the traffic unit, which is less than the 19 employed that they had in 2011. We pulled some traffic crash stats for the city. There are 3,333 crashes were reported in 2011. That number has increased by about 250 in 2015 when there was a reported 3,550 traffic crashes. Anissa? Julia. What is it that's causing that number in Tyler to be so high for the money? Is it the number of tickets being issued or the amount having to be paid for each individual ticket? Well, we've been trying for a while to get our hands on the traffic citation fee schedule. Many cities freely publish it online to show you how much the set fine is for each violation in Tyler. We've been told that it's set by the municipal judge. 
each year and that's not released to the public. Even Tyler police say they don't have a copy of it. So when they're issuing tickets, they don't know exactly how much it is for each kind of violation. So we're going to keep requesting it until we get it and we'll share it with you as soon as we do. Thank you, Julia. So you've established that for whatever reason, Tyler's yearly municipal revenue is much higher than cities that are about the same size. Now, what cities in Texas do we compare to? Well, that's a good question. We looked at other cities with revenue totals around $9 million per year, and it puts us in the company of larger cities like Grand Prairie and Irving. The city of Austin collected three times as much, or $27,000 last year, but Austin has a population of almost eight times that of Tyler. Vanessa? Okay, thank you so much, Julia. We will definitely be looking forward to whatever it is you find as you continue to investigate this. To see traffic revenue stats for your city, our team has compiled an interactive map. You can check it out on our website right now at KLTV.com. Just go to our home page, scroll down, click on the Cash Register Justice Story. That will take you to that map.